Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for watching and thank you for all those new subscribers. I have a 2017 Wells Cargo uh, enclosed trailer. It's uh, 7 by 12 with the extra 10 height and it came with a RV door already previously installed with no window in it. Um, when I was building out the cargo trailer, I found that there was not a lot of information on how thick the walls were uh, in the trailers and no, no uh, specifications on the RV doors and how they were, how thick they were and what they were constructed of. So I thought I'd do this short video just to show you how these doors are constructed and uh, what to expect when you're putting a window in your RV door to your enclosed cargo trailer. So they're constructed basically of, of three different layers. So on the outside layer here, this is the, the outside skin, the aluminum skin that you see obviously when you're standing on the outside of the trailer. So it's just, just thin aluminum and then it's bonded to some white like styrofoam insulation. And then on the inside of the RV door uh, is a very thin layer of fiberglass uh, reinforced panel. And the overall thickness of this material is about or just under an inch and a half. So you could probably count on an inch and a half when you're looking at ordering a, a window for the uh, RV door. Um, to cut it is, uh, it's quite easy to cut. And uh, if you use a metal blade on your jigsaw, um, it will cut quite fast and it is quite easy. I drill a half inch hole to start, as you can see right here. And I traced out the pattern on the, on the door and I actually uh, just drew a box and then I just formed in, in the corners. So I marked the outside of the door with pencil lines and made sure it was exactly square with the top of the roof and exactly where I wanted it. And then I just added in the radius for the windows. And uh, yeah, it, it cuts really fast, really easy and uh, nothing to be intimidated about. Okay, to install windows on the outside of the actual cargo trailer, so not into an RV door, but actually cutting into the side of your cargo trailer, I'll just share with you some of the specifications on this and some of the things that I learned and probably would do different the next time. So this is the cutout that I had for, the, um, for my window. It was a 15 by 30 window. And obviously this is the outer skin that, that came out of the, the hole that I cut the, the window out of, as you can see by there's a couple screws here. And then this right here, this little section is actually how it's actually bonded together. They just use some sort of uh, adhesive to join the, the panels together on the outside of the, the cargo trailer. So this thickness here, right in between the, the outer layer of the uh, or this the outer uh, aluminum shell and the inner wall layer was an inch and a half so if you're looking to spec out some windows for me this my interior wall was a quarter inch thick uh, the thickness of the stud and then the thickness of the aluminum is an inch and a half and uh, the stud itself I used um, basically just one inch insulation that fit in between the studs. Uh, the aluminum is about a sixteenth. And yeah, this, uh, this paneling, the wall paneling that I used was a quarter inch. So all told together, we're almost exactly uh, an inch and a half. So the way this is constructed, I'll just, uh, I'll just put this down and try and uh, explain it to you as best as possible. And it's good to have a visual of what it looks like and what you're actually cutting through uh, when you're doing your, uh, your window install. So right here, I'll just show you. We have, again, this is the outer skin. I use just a styrofoam insulation panel on my trailer that worked just fine. And uh, that was an inch thick. And this is what the cross section of the metal stud, I would say that every enclosed trailer has. So the, the width of this here is about two and a half inches. So this is, would be where you would 
would you you would screw your interior panels on and then in between so what the skin is this outer aluminum skid is screwed into is about an inch thick here so you're about a two and a half inches exactly when you're uh, when you're uh, screwing in your wall panels to something like this so when you're cutting through this here unlike the rv door which is quite easy to do um, this metal here would require a good uh, milwaukee blade is what i found worked best i had some bosch blades on my jigsaw and i found that it just burnt them out uh, so i went and got some milwaukee blades and i actually ended up using my reciprocating saw which worked quite well um, the jigsaw if uh, you had a good enough blade, which at the time I didn't have quite good enough blade, would do the best job uh, for cutting. Uh, the reciprocating saw is a little bit more uh, difficult to use and it can cause some damage to the outer skin. So when the shoe of the jigsaw or the reciprocating saw sometimes bounces against your, your aluminum skin here, it can leave very, very, uh, small uh, dents or you can if you look really hard you can see some uh, some dent impressions of where the shoe hits if you're not holding it solid and I did have uh, layers of tape on there but uh, there's still if you look at it the right way you can still see there's a little tiny tiny bit of damage on there so anyways uh, it is a little bit more intimidating to do it that way and depending on what size of window that you get I had to cut through one stud and then on the outer side, I actually had to, to cut into the, the studs on either side because uh, my, my enclosed trailer had 15 inch center studs. And uh, so I couldn't get away with, with uh, putting a horizontal window in without cutting a little bit of the studs. And I'll just show you what I mean there. So here's the, here's the back of my wall. This is the actual paneling that I use inside of my uh, trailer. And then this, this is just an indication of how it was screwed into the stud and the section that I had to cut out. So you can see that there. So this here was actually quite difficult to cut with the jigsaw and also with the reciprocating saw because of the, the radius that it had on there. So anyways, um, I'm sure there may be better ways and or ideas out there. Um, this is what I found that, uh, that uh, the, uh, some of the issues that I encountered. And again, here's, here's just a bit of a, like a cross section of what it looks like um, when it's sandwiched together. This is the finished product of what the window looks like after it's installed. Uh, of course, you use butyl tape. I still haven't trimmed the excess butyl tape out of there, but you can see where there is that intrusion on this side, on both sides, into the, the metal studs that I was talking about in, the, in this video. So it looks awesome. Make sure that you measure it so that it is perfectly square and uh, you'll get an awesome product. And then this is the also the RV door. And with these windows, we figured the height out by, we have some bench seating inside, and there, we figured out the height by putting the center of the window with the center of our nose or our eyes when we were sitting down so we could look outside of the window on either side and uh, we would still have a, a nice view. And that's what it looks like all panned out.